Now, if you see, US is more focused on individualistic culture, whereas in Japan, if you see, it will be more of a collectivistic culture. Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about social psychology. Social psychology is one of the very important field of uh, psychology. Why? Because it tells you how a person thinks, how a person behaves and how all these things are getting influenced by a social circle. A social circle could be anything, for example, um, the people you are living with or you could be referring to the environment in which you are born and brought up. Now, if you see social psychology, what is social psychology? It is one of a very important field of psychology. Now, which kind of psychology? Scientific psychology. Now, here, what do you study? Now, in social psychology, we study the thoughts, we study the behavior, we study the mindset of the person and now how come these things are influenced by the social circle now this social circle could be anything for example the family it could be society it could be your friend circle etc. Now, referring to these things, how come the person's thoughts, the person's behavior and the mindset of the person changes with reference to this? So, social psychology is nothing but a scientific study of a person's thoughts, a person's behavior, a person's mind with respect to what? the social circle in which the person is living. Now, society is a very broad parameter. Why? Because uh, if you see um, the culture of uh, two different countries, uh, for example, you have US, you have Japan. Now, if you see US is more focused on individualistic culture, whereas in Japan, if you see it will be more of a collectivistic culture. Now, here the social psychology is going to vary from country to country. So, you can also say that it depends upon various cross-cultural parameters as well. Well, social psychology is a, you know, very big field to explore. However, uh, we'll discuss about it in short in here in the video. Now, what is social psychology? Social psychology is very much influenced by the social influence. Now, what is social influence? Now, see, social influence acts as a very important part in a person's behavior. Why? Because whatever you are considering or whomsoever you are referring to will definitely influence your behavior. Now, how is this happening? Social influence is again considered to be coming from two types. What are those? One is informational influence, another one is normative influence. Now, if you see informational influence, what is informational influence? Now, when we conform to others because we believe they have accurate information. Now, you conform to others, what does this mean? Conformity means that you are considering or you are abiding that this information is an accurate information. So, once you conform to it, you are getting influence through informational influence. Now, coming to normative influence, when we conform to others because we want them to like and accept us. Now, what is this? This actually talks about that you want to be a part of that part of that group. Right? See, um, for example, um, 
a lot of uh, you know women are going for a lot of skin treatments why because they confer they are confirming to this idea that maybe fair skin women are more good looking or they are more appealing as compared to uh, whitish color women so what i mean to say is that if you conform to an idea and what kind of idea for example if you want to be a part of that group that group is known as a normative influence and if you conform to the information you are getting that means you consider that information has to be accurate that is called informational influence now social influence social influence also occurs in uh, you know various ways for example you have conformity you have group behavior you have compliance you have obedience now see uh, these are the ways in which the social influence is there and if the person conforms to this idea what happens is the person's thoughts the person's behavior and the mindset of the person completely changes right now first is conformity conformity is what that you are agreeing to the information provided fine now group behavior group behavior is what group behavior is it could facilitate a certain kind of uh, action or you can also say that uh, the group considers that there is or that is uh, it is more important it is more important to maintain the solidarity in the group fine now third one is what compliance now compliance is what that again very uh, close between conformity and compliance now here you were agreeing to the information that was provided here you are act thing on to the information that is provided now obedience obedience is what as the dictionary meaning itself is that you need to be obedient now what is uh, obedience that way um a person directs their behavior a person directs their behavior how on the higher authorities direction on the higher authorities direction now what does this mean this means that uh, you know if there is a higher authority and the higher authority demands you to change your behavior so what is happening is that your behavior is getting influenced how because the higher authority demands it to be so that is called obedience so that is also one of the way of social influence now if you see uh, in one you are just conforming to the information you are getting the other one is talking about group now here not necessarily that it is always going to be a positive concept it's going to be a negative concept also so there are high chances that group behavior can lead to both positive as well as negative uh, changes right then is compliance that once you are uh, conform to the information you are going to comply or you are going to act on to the information that is being provided obedience is that it directs the behavior 
or the person directs their behavior on the higher authorities direction for example all those people um, you know who are uh, getting selected in various examination what is happening is that they are confirming or they are directing or they are changing their behavior on the demand of the higher uh, higher authority fine so these are the ways in which uh, social influence occur as i have told you in uh, the previous slides that we have got two factors one is uh, the the field is known as social psychology how social psychology is being studied like the social psychology is being studied by studying the social influence that means how the person's behavior is getting influenced from various parameters now i told you that in one in, in one informational influence what happens is you tend to believe the information that is being provided and in normative influence what is happening is that you are confirming what to the information so that you become a part of that group now other than that social influence how how social influence occurs is one is conformity other one is group behavior third is compliance and fourth is obedience now all this could be done in detail but uh, it was just an overview of information how social psychology is studied how social influence acts as an important part in social psychology thank you